the icbi the nippon foundation mathematics package for uh, teachers title of the video intersecting and non intersecting circles uh, for example we get uh, three values one is capital r which is the radius of uh, the big circle and small r which is the radius of the small circle and then there is a distance between the centers of the circle now suppose we get a formula capital r plus small r is greater than the d the d is distance between the centers of this circle similarly if r plus small r is less than d we have to find out whether the circles are intersecting or non intersecting circles let us demonstrate this now first we have to find out the radius of the circle so what we have to do we fold the circle into two halves horizontally and vertically so we have the center of the circle similarly we take the small circle fold it horizontally and vertically in such a way that we get the center we get the center now let us mark the uh, radius of the two circles we call the radius of the big circle as uh, capital r then we call the radius of the small circle as small r now we have to find out the center of each circle and assume that the circles are kept separately now let us find out the distance between the centers of the two circles now let us assume that the circles are touching now okay and then let us assume that the circles are separate so we have to find out the distance between the centers now take a paper strip and find out the distance between the centers now this strip we call that as a is the distance between the centers of uh, the two circles now let us take another strip and calculate the radius of the small circle so then let us call the radius of the small circle as b now let us take another strip and find out the radius of the big circle so this will help the child to understand the concept by actually doing now let us take this strip c which is the radius of the big circle that is capital r small circle is r and then the distance d now now these two circles are non intersecting because these two circles are separate they are separated they are not touching are not overlapping into each other they are separate so in this case you take uh, the big r and put it on the distance strip uh, and then you take uh, the small r and then uh, put it by the side of the big r you can notice that here the formula says that capital r plus small r is less than d that is when the radius of the big circle 
and uh, the radius of the small circle so we can call it radius of uh, the first circle and the radius of the second circle when they are put together if the total distance is less than the distance between the centers of the two circles you can say that uh, the circles are the circles are non intersecting let us take the other example one more example so let us take the other situation now here we have the situation when one circle is having an overlapping area with the other circle that is one circle is intersecting with the other circle so the radius has not changed the radius has not changed the radius of uh, the big circle and the radius of the small circle they are intact now we have to find out the distance between the centers of the circle now let us measure the distance between the centers of the circle that is the big circle and the small circle you take a paper strip uh, a paper strip and then measure the distance uh, so now what happens uh, the distance between the centers of the two circles let us call this as d now in the second situation what happens you know the radius of the big circle plus the radius of the small circle is greater than the distance between the centers so whenever you get numbers saying that capital r plus small r is less than d then you can very clearly say that the circles are not intersecting when the distance is greater than the distance between the centers of the two circles you can clearly say that the circles are intersecting